Now, this next part, we're told that the points A, B, D, together with another point C, are the vertices of a parallelogram A, B, C, D, where A, B equals D, C. So we've got to find the position vector of C. So where's C going to be? Well, it's going to be round about here. If you can imagine a parallelogram A, B, C, D, then let's just put C about here. OK, let's C. And we'll join it with this green vector here. We've got to find this vector, the position vector of the point C. If A, B, C, D, let's join it up, forms a parallelogram something like this, okay? So, how can I get that position vector of O to C? Well, if I want to go from O to C, there's many ways that I can go from O to C. I could, for instance, go from O to D, followed by D to C. O to D, followed by D to C. There's other ways I could get to C. I could go, for instance, from O to B, and then B to C. And I'll leave it up to you to experiment with this, OK? So uh, we should arrive at the same answer, whatever. Now, because it's a parallelogram, I mean, I know the vector O to D, that's fine. But as far as the vector D to C goes, D to C, well, being a parallelogram, it's got to be the same as the vector A to B. So we can say that that's the vector A to B. So all we need to do now is just fill in our vectors. We know O to D. O to D is the vector minus 1, 1, 4. OK. And A to B, we got that earlier, 3, 3, 5. 3, 3, 5. And if we add these two vectors together, then you're going to get 2, 4, 9. So 2, 4, 9. Or you could write it, it's up to you, not as a column vector, but 2i plus 4j plus 9k. All right, so that's the position vector of C, O to C.